Canoe unveiled the American Bulldog light tactical vehicle quad cab this morning with a press release and video on YouTube. This isn't the first time it's been seen, as Canoe did show it off in a private expo event for U.S. military and government personnel. And Canoers.com actually forecasted the coming of this truck when we wrote about a full cab truck appearing in some NHTSA filings. While the video and press photos of the Bulldog are awesome and inspiring, there wasn't anything given in terms of expected specifications, pricing or timing on production. Canoe says this is a variant of the original light tactical vehicle, LTV. They debuted just before delivering it to the US Army for testing last December. If we assume the Bulldog has the same or similar specifications then we know the Bulldog incorporates carbon Kevlar, all-wheel drive with up to 600 horsepower, air springs and a raised suspension compared to the lifestyle vehicle. Seeing as how original LTV was designed specifically with the US military in mind, it's interesting that their video seemed more directed at the rugged American blue-collar working class type suggesting this won't be a military exclusive. Canoe claims the Bulldog is a high-tech marvel that most engineers wouldn't believe without seeing, and while we don't dispute that claim, we just want to know more about it. We have to end on a familiar ground here at Canoers, and that is expectantly waiting for the next earnings release to hopefully find out more information. Thankfully the wait isn't long, and now we get to view these beautiful photographs and video all weekend long while we wait for this Tuesday. In the original article, we made some assumptions and connections based on a comment made by Jacette Sheeran, president and director of Canoe. Canoe reached out to clarify she misspoke where we quoted her saying Canoe was one of out of two finalists in the JABS program. The original five companies are all still being evaluated in the Jumpstart initiative. We made changes and expounded on different areas to reflect this updated information. Back in February of this year, Canoe was picked along with four other companies to participate in the Jumpstart for Advanced Battery Standardization JABS, program. This initiative by the DoD sets out to not only make it easier for the private sector to bid to and share technologies with the various U.S. government branches, it also will help future battery advancements to be seamlessly integrated into vehicles with static structures, ensuring a more efficient and effective transition. This week Canoe's president and director, Jacette Sheeran, expanded on this topic during a panel discussion at the Future Investment Initiative Conference on October 25, 2023. When asked about how electric vehicles might become more affordable, she answered that among other things, research and development of the technology would push the market to lower manufacturing costs by standardizing parts, products and processes in the more basic components. To drive the point home, she made reference to the JABS program to standardize battery modules. In July, Canoe announced they had significantly expanded their partnership with the Department of Defense. Although no official word on what the scope of this expansion is, we believe it to be involvement with another DoD DIU program called Steep Stable Tactical Expeditionary Electric Power. On June 27, a mere two weeks prior to Canoe's expansion press release, the DIU announced that GM Defense and Cummins Power Generation Inc. had been awarded contracts in the Steep program. Just what is this program and why do we think Canoe is involved? The primary objective of the STEEP program is to develop a modular, vehicle transportable system that provides various forms of energy storage and management for tactical, mobile microgrids. One more comment made by Jacette in the above-mentioned panel leads us to believe the expansion of their partnership with the DoD was an invitation to participate in the STEEP program in addition to the JABS program. When discussing EV mandates and the lack of charging infrastructure, Jacette stated that there are many innovative, we're doing one, sources of Merco charging networks that you can drop in. One could make the argument that that when she said, we're doing one, she meant the collective we, as in humans or perhaps the US government. However, we interpret that to mean that Canoe is quite literally working on an a microcharging network that you can drop in, which sounds a lot like the Steep program. 